So let's just say that I was working with this scrolling world. Um, I'm going to give you the code for a scrolling world. There's only one piece missing. But uh, let's call this Mario. This is my scrolling Mario. I'm going to grab that image, which is way too long to fit on the screen. So at the moment, um, this is what I get. Remember how it tiles it? It doesn't quite do it the way we wanted. So what we want to do is, if you go back, uh, the pixel size is 3384 by 224. Again, that's going to be too big for us, but um, here we go. Um, I'll make it just 224. You can decide, you know, maybe that's enough pixels for you, but you could make it wider if that's what you thought would make a better uh, visual here. So now I just get that beginning of the game. And of course, the problem, though, to begin with, is that the level, as you saw before, goes way off the screen, right? There's the castle, he jumps onto the flag. There's all this stuff missing. So we want to be able to show more of it than is there. And all I've done is added an actor, and I'll show you what's in the guts of this. Um, it's just simple key movement, OK? So the way the scrolling world works, uh, the simplest explanation I can get you started with is when you add a scrolling world, um, what you have to do is say who the main character is. And that's this method here. That will then determine how it tracks the screen. Okay, so in Mario's world, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say um, add main character, new, and I called it a test scroller. So I'll put them to this position. So it's almost the same thing as add object. I just it's not an it's not just an object, it's the main character. Okay? So in this sense, it has a lot more power to what it's doing. Um, this Mario world is from the scrolling world, and the scrolling world is slightly different. So you need to look at what the scrolling world takes for its constructor. This is not the size of the image it's the size that you want to show the window of the entire thing so you could have a million pixel by million pixel image but you might only want 500 by 300 visible on the screen that's what you first put in here what portion will you show this scroll space is when the actor will trigger scrolling it would be quite annoying to play a game where the main character was always the middle and it never uh, moved because the world around it kept moving. So th this scroll space is basically the margin. When you touch the margin, it moves, it bumps the screen. So I'll show you with a running example, but I'm going to change this. This is the size of that enormous Mario world. It's the little window of it I'm showing. Um, you know, I can even, why don't I go like this to show you it can do vertical scroll too. But I'm going to say 10 pixels is my margin. This is not the same as it's telling you here. The cell size is going to be one pixel by one pixel, but the margin is 10 pixels. So let's just compile it, and then it's going to shrink Mario Land a little bit. Here's my, my uh, scroller. Um, now watch what happens here. When I Nothing's happening. It seems pretty boring. But then as I see, I just triggered the margin, 10 pixels in the margin. That triggers the scroll. So you can decide where you want the margins to scroll. You know, for my ant, it's probably better if it was somewhere else, but uh, um, that's how it moves along this image, okay? Now the other thing that you wanna see here, and this is your first problem that you wanna figure out. Um, let's put an object in here. I'll put a, uh, how about a barrel? If I put the barrel here, now watch what happens as I scroll past the barrel. Maybe you'll be able to figure out or anticipate. This barrel knows nothing about the world. See, it's the barrel never moved, right? The barrel's fixed. The image behind it is moving. So what I actually have to do, and this is the loop you need to run, is I have to figure out every actor that I have I'm going to grab that actor and move it the opposite direction the ant is traveling. 
because that will give it the illusion that it's going, that it's actually stuck, that it's fixed in position. So you can play around with that movement, but I'll show you where it is that you need to fix it. So in your scrolling world down here, um, let's see here. Uh, the move method, where did it go? Here, um, I've made this comment for you to give you some guidance, but right there is your first task to fix the scrolling world. So what I would like to have happen is I would like for it to, again, when it triggers the scroll, it's telling you this method is going to say the ant wants to move one pixel forward and maybe one pixel down, or it's telling you exactly how the ant is going to move or whatever character you're using. You need to use the opposite when you push those actors away from it. Then it will give you the illusion that they stayed still. They move exactly the same way the background image does. Okay, so um, just a couple of hints here. The first thing you're going to use is get a list of all the actors. Then you're going to need to loop through that list. Uh, moving away from this uh, main character. So once you've done that loop, it should properly scroll the way we had discussed. 